What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Dante's Rant Room, and I am your host, Dante, here to provide you daily updates and commentary on controversial topics in anime, manga, gaming, nerd, and geek culture. So, once again, we gotta talk about Saints Row Reboot because apparently, apparently, the CEO isn't happy with them sales numbers. The article says from Kotaku, Saints Row CEO sounds kinda disappointed about the new reboot sales. The absurd rebooted crime sim struggles to earn its place in the current gaming landscape. Well, of course it's struggling. <laughs> of course it is. The game has horrid to cheesy dialogue. If you've been following me for a while, you know we played that clip. It was horrid. <laughs> okay. Insane amounts of bugs and glitches. You can check out my YouTube shorts. I got two videos posted about some of the glitches. And people have complained about the underwhelming story mode. And the list goes on and on and on. You guys get the point. But is it not to bash anyone who actually enjoys the game? If you love the game, that is totally fine. However, the general consensus is right now, currently, the game is underwhelming. And it's underperforming and it's not that great of a game now look at this thread from reddit apparently the last of us part one is beating it now currently at the number one spot uh this is believe in the uk and this is important because saints row was doing pretty well in the uk for about a week or so and then it dropped from number one to number six ninja turtles is actually beating saints row reboot now <laughs> no lie I ain't even gonna hold y'all. That uh, new game, Ninja Turtles, is actually pretty damn fun. <laughs> I actually like that game. But um, you guys can see, numbers don't lie. If you enjoyed the game, that is totally fine. But clearly, this game is not doing well. Now, let's get into the article before but you do that. First, please, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell for more content and to support the channel getting even closer to a thousand subscribers follow me on social medias like twitter and instagram dante's rant room thank you guys for tuning in and uh, let's jump right into it it says while digital and physical sales of saints row reboot hit a strong second place in both american and european markets the open world crime sim was denied first place by madden nfl 23 and Grand Theft Auto 5. This game has been out for how long? And it's still in the number one spot? Sheesh, I mean, Grand Theft Auto 5 is fun. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. It's a pretty fun game. I play it off and on every so, you know, every once in a while, you know, story mode is dope. But, sheesh, <laughs> still? Goddamn, <laughs> respectively. While second place isn't bad, the Sandro reboot has actually been a bit of a flop at least as far as Embracer CEO Lars Wingforce is concerned. Yeah, remember the stock? It affected their stocks. Remember that? Stocks dropped because of how bad the game was doing upon release. Yeah, not good. As reported by Game Industry Biz, 7.7 7 million games sold in tracked European territory during the month of August. And 2013 Grand Theft Auto V led, uh, led the peak. Oh, sorry, let the pack. My bad. Saints Row came in at second, sandwiched between Rockstar's God Tier Mega Hit and FIFA 22. And in the States, Video Game Chronicle has the NPD stats showing the crime reboot losing out to Madden NFL 23. Quite a duo, Madden NFL 23, and disastrous reviews. GTA 5 came out nine years ago. Nine years? And it was still at the number one spot. Well, it's up there. Sheesh. Wow. Now, now we see why it's taking them forever to make a part six. Because when part five is doing so well, they don't have to rush to make a part six. You feel me? Anyway, let's continue. To be fair, Saints Row didn't launch um, until August 23rd. While GTA 5 was, of course, available during the entire month. Madden came out August 19th. But Embracer CEO Lars Wing Force. I hope I said that right. I'm sorry. Seems pretty down on his performance too. Axio Steven Totlo? Totilo? 
Reports that during an investor call today, Wing Forest described as the crime scene reboot as one of the harder ones for the company to see a return on. He's hoping to see a greater reception on the game and that while it certainly won't it certainly, certainly won over some players, many others haven't been convinced. Yeah, you gotta worry about their ROI, their return on investment. You know, you can put all this money into a video game, right? And of course, the devs want to make a profit out of it. And right now, it looks as though they need to sell a certain amount of copies of this game to have a good ROI. And it's not looking like that's happening right now. I mean, like the article said, it just came out not long ago, and we'll see what happens. But currently, not looking good. But if you played the game, let me know your thoughts about this game in the comments section. Do you actually enjoy the game? What do you like about this game? And can maybe if you can let me know what you like about it, I might pick it up. But first, I gotta do Cyberpunk 2077 because that's my mind's all on that game right now. You feel me? And we'll continue with the article. It wasn't all gloom and doom. However, Wing Force stressed that the company needs to wait until Quarterly reported in November. Ah, see, okay, November to have more details. Responding to inquiries about the future of the franchise, Wing Force highlighted his trust in those working on the game and said that any potential decisions are uncertain for now. I think all they can do now is worry about fixing these goddamn glitches and bugs. You know. Work. I mean, at this point, the story is what it is. The story apparently is subpar. A lot of people don't like the story. Uh, a lot of complaints on that, which is bad as, as, it, as it is. Because <laughs> if the story is under, it's, uh, boring or underwhelming, you kind of lost on that front already. Unless you have some miraculous DLC that will somehow fix everything. But yeah, it looks as though it's <laughs> you failed on that front already. So fix the glitches. New DLCs, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you guys. But anyway, what do you guys think about this article? It is sad. <laughs> I mean, the dialogue in that game is bad, man. It's, what does someone call it? Twitter row? <laughs> Twitter That was a good one. It, it's horrible. Student loans, It's. it just sounds boring. I'm sure the chaos and the shooting the guns and all that i'm sure that's all fun and the mayhem and destruction that's always gonna be fun but when you have cringy dialogue about student loans and waffle makers and uh what, what do you call it uh, um fighting the, not fighting the patriarchy uh fighting a capitalist society bro i'm not trying to hear that bro i really am not trying to hear that you know if i want to hear all that crap I, all i gotta do is go to twitter and, and Read some horrid tweets. That's all I gotta do. I ain't gonna play it again to see all that crap. But I mean, it <laughs> it resonated with some people. It ain't gonna resonate with a lot of people. But that's what I think about it, and that's why I think the, the game didn't do too well, among other reasons as well. But what do you guys thoughts about this uh, development? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. If you want more content like this, to nerd and geek culture and controversial topics, make sure you are subscribed for more content. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Dante from Dante's Rant Room signing off. Peace.